എന്റെ ലൈഫ് ഇതിലാണ് എന്റെ ജീവിതവും ജീവനും ഒക്കെ എനിക്ക് ആപ്റ്റാണ് Traveling can be interstate, international, intercontinental or even just stepping out of your cozy bedroom and taking a stroll in the nearby garden. There is no journey in which we do not learn. There is no destination which is not beautiful. One day I was experimenting hyperlapse photography during my stay at CBD Belapur, Navi Mumbai. I had to take shelter beneath a building to keep myself and the camera dry from the monsoon pouring. That's when I noticed the fascinating paintings inside the building. Naturally, as an admirer of the art, I had to check out the paintings and that's when I met Zahra Hussain, an artist by passion and profession. In her own words, she preferred to picturize the feelings of downtrodden and labor. She didn't travel much, but her paintings do. They cross the boundaries of India and travel all across the globe. prominent art cafes and museums of Italy, France, London, Germany, Singapore, Canada, Malaysia and many display her works of art. She is happy, proud and contented for the appreciation and encouragement of well-known painters and celebrities including Sachin Tendulkar. Good evening YouTube. This is a very nice evening in Navi Mumbai. I'm basically from uh, Belapur, talking from Belapur right now. Welcome to channel uh, 300 Travel Tales. I am Tinso and with me we have a very special guest over here. So this is Sara Hussain, hailing from Matancheri, Kerala. Very awesome artist. You have seen, uh, I will be showing uh, around the pictures and all. The pictures and all. Beautiful pictures, beautiful canvas and beautiful combination of colors. That's what I observe from here. Okay, so we have a very short and spontaneous interview. I was just passing by. So this is a very short and spontaneous interview with uh, Sara Hussain. Sara Hussain, welcome. So we'll uh, continue this uh, interview in Malayalam basically. She's from Matanjari, so um, Malayalam will be very comfortable for her. And I'll be translating in his English. I mean, look for the subtitles below. Yeah. So uh, Sara ma'am, good evening. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Ronix Paulos. This is uh, her uh, master, by the way. Hey, welcome to the show, uh, Ronix Paulos sir. Uh, മാം എങ്ങനെയാണ് ചിത്രകലയോട് ഒരു തുടങ്ങി എത്ര എത്ര നാളായി തുടങ്ങിയിട്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇതിലേക്ക് ചിത്രകലയിലേക്ക് വന്നത് എങ്ങനെയാണ് എപ്പോഴാണ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിലേക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് ഏകദേശം എത്ര സമയം 
Hi guys, this is uh, Mr. Alexander Martin, the man behind all this stuff. So, uh, 
he actually invited uh, Ms. Sara Hussain and uh, uh, Mr. Ronix Paolos to put up a show here, put up a display. So his uh, intense attachment to this art, artwork and all uh, has made this whole area possible. It's just been inaugurated today. So can you please say a few words about her art, how you, how you got this, I mean, how you invited her to get all these paintings here and stuff? Yes, uh, so happened that about uh, nearly four years back, yeah. I met Sara in Cochin, uh, in her studio at the And uh, at that time, we were toying with an idea okay. of starting a platform for struggling and upcoming artists. Okay. So at that point, I interacted with Sara and I asked her whether she would be interested in being a part of our core group. Uh -huh. One of the first few artists because uh, we found her work was good, her sincerity, and she had a very powerful guiding force behind her, Mr. Paulus. So uh, we thought that whenever we are going to start, we would they would do the first exhibition for us. So today we are happy to say that you know we have been doing our first exhibition. Okay. It's our maiden exhibition. Okay. We uh, launched ourselves in the month of January. Uh -huh. So we are happy about it. the seven months old. Okay. So the platform is for struggling artists basically okay. because what we believe is that uh, a person who is uh, trying to make a name for himself, it's a very arduous journey for that person. Definitely. So, if we can provide a platform which gives an equitable participation to the artist and the art lover as well. So, what happens is that we can use art as a medium of communication, we can uh, uh, make art accessible for everybody, affordable for everybody. So that's what is the element of equitability and participation. Participation. So this is a very, very generous uh, offer from you <laughs> to Ms. Uh, Rausen and uh, Ms. Polo. So that is, uh, that is very awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.